Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to share with you all questions and answers to the Ontario G1 knowledge test. Now in this test you're going to be presented with 40 questions. 20 will be on the rules of the road and 20 will be on the road signs. In order to pass you need to answer 16 right in each section. So 16 in the rules of the road and 16 on the road signs. That's 80% passing mark. I hope you find this guide useful and good luck on your Ontario G1 knowledge test. In which of the following locations is it dangerous or unlawful to make a U-turn? In a curve or on a hill where visibility is less than 150 meters or 500 feet in either direction? On the railway crossing or within 30 meters, 100 feet of a railway crossing? Within 150 meters, 500 feet of a bridge, viaduct or tunnel if the driver's view is obstructed in all of the above locations. The answer is in all of the above locations. All of the answer options are examples of locations where it is dangerous or unlawful to make a U-turn. What does this road sign mean? No trucks allowed, slow down for trucks, Truck entrance ahead, on the right, truck route. The correct answer, truck entrance ahead, on the right. What does a pair of these signs mean? Do not park in the area between the signs. Do not stop in the area between the signs except to load or unload passengers or merchandise. Do not stop in the area between the signs. Do not stand in the area between the signs. The correct answer, do not stop in the area between the signs. This is a no stopping sign. It means that you're not allowed to stop here, even for a moment. These signs are typically used in pairs or groups. What does this road sign mean? You may not turn left on the red light. There is no road on the right side of the intersection. You may not turn right on a green light. You may not turn right on a red light. The correct answer, you may not turn right on a red light. This is a no right turn on red sign. Where this sign is posted, you may not turn right on the red light unless there is also a green arrow uh, pointing right. At an intersection, the traffic light is red, but a police officer motions you to go through. What sh should you do? Stop and make sure that the police officer really wants you to go through. Tell the police officer that the light is red. Go through. Wait for the light to turn green. The correct answer, go through. When police officers are directing traffic, you must follow their directions, even if it means disregarding some of the usual driving rules. For example, you should go past a red light if a police officer directs you to do so. What does this sign mean? There is a winding road ahead. The road turns right and then left. Keep right of the obstacle ahead, pass other traffic on the right. The correct answer, keep right of the obstacle ahead. This sign indicates a divider, traffic island or other obstacle ahead. Keep right of it. What does this road sign mean? Hidden intersection ahead, hidden bus bay ahead, hidden school bus stop ahead, school zone ahead. The correct answer, hidden school bus stop ahead. This warning sign means that there's a hidden school bus stop ahead. School buses stop with flashing red lights there. Slow down, drive with extra caution and watch for children or a school bus with the flashing red lights. If your right wheels drop off the roadway, what is the best way to get back onto the roadway? Apply the brakes to reduce your speed. 
steer hard to the left, apply the brakes and steer hard to the left, take your foot off the gas pedal, let your vehicle slow down and gently steer back onto the roadway. The correct answer, take your foot off the gas pedal, let your vehicle slow down and gently steer back onto the roadway. If your right wheels drop off the road, do not make a sharp turn. Instead, take your foot off the pedal and let your vehicle slow down. Then gently steer back on the roadway. When changing lanes on a multi-lane highway, a driver should check the mirrors and signal, use the horn, activate the emergency signals, Move into the new lane as fast as possible. The correct answer, check the mirrors and signal. Before changing lanes, the driver should make sure it's safe by checking the mirrors and doing a shoulder check to check the blind spot. Then the driver should signal and move gradually into the new lane. To pull out of a parking space, you should honk your horn and slowly Pull away from the curb, check for traffic, signal, and quickly pull away from the curb. Check for traffic, signal, and pull away from the curb when it's safe to do so. Signal and pull away from the curb. The correct answer, check for traffic, signal, and pull away from the curb when it's safe to do so. What does this sign mean? The pavement is slippery when wet. Slow down to prevent hydro planning. The paved surface ends ahead. The pavement has been milled or grooved. The correct answer, the pavement is slippery when wet. In wet weather, slow down and proceed with extra caution. If one of your tires suddenly blows out while you're driving, what should you do? Bring the vehicle to a stop off the road, take your foot off the gas pedal, concentrate on steering, do all of the above. The answer, do all of the above. If one of your tires blows out while you're driving, do not brake right away. Braking could cause you lose control. Instead, focus on steering, take your foot off the gas pedal to slow down and bring your vehicle to a full stop off the road. What does this road sign mean? Hotel, movable bridge ahead, narrow road ahead, airport. The correct answer, movable bridge ahead. The bridge lifts or swings open to allow boats to pass. Slow down and prepare to stop in case the bridge is open. What does this road sign mean? U-turns prohibited, left turns prohibited, U-turns allowed, right turns prohibited. The correct answer, U-turns prohibited. A red slash inside a red circle means no. This regularly sign indicates that U-turns are prohibited here. What does this road sign mean? You have the right of way, a railway crossing is ahead, you must give the right of way, a school zone is ahead. The correct answer, you must give the right of way. This is a yield sign. When you approach a yield sign, slow down and prepare to yield to pedestrians and approaching traffic. You may also have to stop for them, so be ready. What does this road sign mean? Slow moving vehicles ahead, dead end street ahead, yield right of way, Stop sign ahead. The correct answer is stop sign ahead. This is a stop sign ahead road sign. Be prepared to stop at the stop sign. What does this road sign mean? You may park here. School buses load or unload in this area by turning on the flashing red lights and extending the stop arm. You must be driving a school bus to enter this area. School buses load or unload in this area without using the flashing red lights. 
with a stop arm. The correct answer, school buses load or unload in this area without using the flashing red lights with the stop arm. This sign marks a loading zone for school buses. In this area, school buses load or unload passengers without using the flashing red lights or the stop arm. You are on a two-lane road. There is a solid yellow line next to a broken yellow line in the center of the road. The solid yellow line is on your side of the road, which is of the following statements is true. Pass only when no traffic is in sight. It is safe to pass. It is unsafe to pass. It is safe to pass in the daytime. The correct answer, it is unsafe to pass. A solid line at the left of your lane means it is unsafe to pass. A broken line at the left of your lane means you may pass if the way is clear. This road sign indicates you must not enter this area. You may drive in any direction from any lane. You may not turn here. The direction of travel for each lane. The correct answer, the direction of travel for each lane. These signs above the road or as a pavement marking tell drivers in each lane the directions in which they must travel. This particular sign means that drivers in the left lane must turn left, drivers in the center lane must either turn right or go straight, the drivers in the right lane must turn right. What does this road sign mean? School zone, playground, park ahead, pedestrian crosswalk. The correct answer, school zone. This is a school zone sign, a school is nearby. Proceed with caution because there may be school children around. If your brakes fail, Apply the parking brake gently but firmly, pump the brake pedal, turn on your emergency flashers, do all of the above. The correct answer, do all of the above. If your brakes fail, try pumping the brake pedal to temporarily restore hydraulic brake pressure. Also downshift into a lower gear and use the engine braking effect to slow your vehicle. If this method's don't work, apply the parking brake gently but firmly when holding the release button. Be prepared to release the parking brake if the wheels lock. It is a good idea for new drivers to practice a parking brake emergency stop under controlled conditions with a qualified driving instructor. A school bus with flashing red signal lights is stopped ahead of you. What does the law require you to do when meeting or overtaking the bus? Remain stopped until the bus proceeds or the red signal lights stop flashing. It does not matter as long as you sound your horn, slow down and pass with care, wait for approaching vehicles to pass. The correct answer remains stopped until the bus proceeds or the red signal lights stop flashing. Whenever you approach a stopped school bus with its upper alternating red lights flashing, you must stop for it regardless of whether you are behind the bus or approaching it from the front. The only exception is if the school bus is stopped on the opposite side of a roadway divided by a median strip. The use of alcohol or drugs affect a driver by impairing which of the following? Vision, judgment, reaction time, all of the above. The correct answer, all of the above. The use of alcohol or drugs can impair driver's vision, judgment, and reaction time, 
With judgment impaired, the driver may not realize how much he or she has been affected by the alcohol or drugs. Which of the following items are you prohibited from using while you are driving? Laptop computer, handheld cell phone, DVD player, all of the above. The correct answer, all of the above, viewing display screens unrelated to driving such as those on, on cell phone, laptop computers, and portable DVD players is prohibited while driving. What does this road sign mean? This is a pedestrian crosswalk. The speed limit is 40 kilometers an hour at all times. During school hours, when the yellow lights are flashing, the speed limit is 40 kilometers an hour. This is a playground. The correct answer during the school hours when the yellow lights are flashing, the speed limit is 40 kilometers an hour. A driver is responsible for requiring their passengers to buckle up. Only those passengers over 18 years of age, only those passengers under 16 years of age, only those passengers in the front seat, only those passengers who are 16 years of age or older. The correct answer, only those passengers under 16 years of age. In Ontario, you may not carry, fill in the blank, in a house or boat trailer while you are towing it. Firearms, pets, people, flammable materials. The correct answer, people. In Ontario, you may not carry any person in any trailer, including a house or boat trailer, while you are towing it. What does this sign mean? Recreation area ahead, hospital ahead, restroom availability, disabled parking area. The correct answer, disabled parking area. This sign features the international symbol of access for persons with disabilities. The sign indicates that a person in a wheelchair may use a handicapped parking space. What does this road sign mean? A highway interchange is 300 meters ahead. Keep right. U-turns are permitted 300 meters ahead. A roundabout is 300 meters ahead. The correct answer, a roundabout is 300 meters ahead. This sign indicates that a roundabout is 300 meters ahead. A roundabout is a circular intersection in which traffic circulates counterclockwise around a central island. Slow down and prepare to yield to the traffic already in the roundabout. If you are convicted of driving at 50 kilometers an hour or more over the speed limit, you will face which of the following penalties? Jail sentence of up to six months, $2,000 to $10,000 fine, license suspension for up to two years or six demerit points, all of the above. The correct answer, all of the above. If police stops you for driving at 50 kilometers an hour or more over the speed limit, you will be charged with street racing. Police will suspend your license on the spot and impound your vehicle for seven days. If you are convicted of this charge for the first time, you will face $2,000 to $10,000 fine, a jail sentence of up to six months, and either six demerit points or license suspension for up to two years. If the traffic signal light facing you is red and you intend to go straight through the intersection, what must you do? Stop yield to pedestrians and then proceed with caution slow down and then proceed when the way is clear stop and then proceed when the way is clear stop and then proceed only when the signal turns green and the way is clear the correct answer stop and then proceed only 
when the signal turns green and the way is clear. When the traffic light is red, you must stop. Proceed only when the signal turns green and the way is clear. What does this road sign mean? Keep right. This road turns sharply right ahead. This road turns slightly right ahead. Traffic must exit to the right. The correct answer, this road turns sharply right ahead. This sign warns of a sharp bend or turn to the right in the road ahead. Slow down before you get to it. What does this sign mean? Railway crossing, pedestrian crossing, do not enter, uncontrolled intersection. The correct answer, railway crossing. All railway crossings on public roads in Ontario are marked with large red and white cross buck X sign. When a train is approaching, you must stop and yield to the train. Remember, the train cannot yield to you. What does this construction sign mean? There is road work operation ahead. The pavement is milled or grooved. Slow down and obey the flagger's direction. The flagger is off duty. The correct answer, there is road work operation ahead. A flashing green light at an intersection where left and right turns are permitted means you may go straight, you may turn left, you may turn right, all of the above. The correct answer, all of the above. When you face a flashing green light or a left pointing green arrow and a green light, you may turn left, go straight ahead or turn right from the proper lane. This is called an advanced green light because oncoming traffic is stopped at a red light. Pedestrians must not cross on a flashing green light unless a pedestrian sign tells them to. Never change lanes in traffic without giving the proper signal and looking to make sure that the lane change can be performed safely. Looking into the rear view mirror only. Blowing your horn and looking to make sure that the lane change can be performed safely. Giving the proper signal and slowing down. The correct answer, giving the proper signal and looking to make sure that the lane change can be performed safely. Before changing lanes, you must always give the proper signal and look to make sure the move can be made safely. First, check your mirrors, then look over your shoulder to check your blind spots. What does this road sign mean? No trucks allowed, possible falling rocks ahead, passing not allowed, steep hill ahead. The correct answer, possible falling rocks ahead. This is a watch for falling rocks road sign. Drive with extra caution and be prepared to avoid a collision. What does this road sign mean? Hidden intersection, road branching off ahead, no left turns, merging traffic ahead. Correct answer, road branching off ahead. This is the road branching off ahead road sign. This sign indicates a side road branching off to the right. What should you do when the driver of another vehicle signals that he or she intends to pass your vehicle? Signal the other driver to remain behind you. Move to the right side of your lane and do not increase your speed. Move to the left to block the passing vehicle. Move to the right side of your lane and increase your speed. The correct answer, move to the right side of your lane and do not increase your speed. If the driver of another vehicle signals that he or she intends to pass your vehicle, 
help that driver pass you safely. Move to the right side of your lane and do not increase your speed until the passing vehicle has passed your vehicle. In fact, be prepared to slow down to help the passing driver get in front of you more quickly to prevent a collision. Which of the following statements about parking lights is true? You can use your parking lights when driving on a well-lit street. You can use your parking lights when driving in heavy fog. You should use your parking lights only for parking. You can use your parking lights at any time. Correct answer, you should use your parking lights only for parking. Parking lights are only for parking in dim light. Use your headlights, not your parking lights. A G2 driver, age 19 or younger, who has more than six months of driving experience, may carry blank unrelated passengers, age 19 or younger, between midnight and 5 a.m. Four, one, two, three. The correct answer, three. A G2 driver, age 19 or younger, who has only six months or less of driving experience, may carry only one unrelated passenger, age 19 or younger, between midnight and 5 a.m. If the G2 driver has more than six months of driving experience, he or she may carry up to three unrelated passengers. These restrictions do not apply if the G2 driver is accompanied by a fully licensed driver sitting in the front seat. There is no restriction on the number of family members that the G2 driver may carry. What does this road sign mean? School zone, provincial park, detour, directions to cities and towns. The correct answer, directions to cities and towns. What does this road sign mean? Road work ahead, traffic control person ahead, pedestrian area, survey crew working ahead. The correct answer, traffic control person ahead. This sign indicates a traffic control person ahead. Traffic control person, also known as a flag person, may direct traffic at construction uh, work uh, zones by using hand signals and stop or slow paddles. Slow down and follow all directions of the traffic control person. What does this road sign mean? A hidden school bus stop, bus entrance ahead on the right, truck entrance ahead on the right, hidden driveway ahead. The correct answer, bus entrance ahead on the right. This sign indicates an upcoming bus entrance on the right. Vehicles should be prepared to yield to buses entering the roadway. If you are convicted for the first time of driving while your license is suspended, you will get an additional six months suspension and you will also face which of the following penalties? A fine between $1,000 and $5,000, either jail time or a fine or both, neither jail time nor a fine, six months in jail. The correct answer, either jail time or a fine or both. If you are convicted of driving while your license is suspended for an HTA offense, you will have to pay a fine of $1,000 to $5,000 for a first offense. The court can order you to spend up to six months in jail or you may have to pay a fine or do both. Six months will be added to your current suspension as well. What does this sign mean? There is a stop sign ahead. Slow down and proceed with caution. Slow down and yield 
to approaching vehicles, stop and yield to approaching vehicles. Correct answer, stop and yield to approaching vehicles. This is the stop sign. You must come to a complete stop and yield the right of way to approaching vehicles before you proceed. A level one, class G1, learner driver may practice driving under the supervision of a licensed driver who has at least blank of driving experience. Two years, three years, five years, four years. The correct answer, four years. A G1 learner driver may practice driving under the supervision of a driver who holds a valid class G or higher license, has a blood alcohol concentration of less than 0.05% and has at least four years of driving experience. This accompanying driver must be the only passenger in the front seat. On the roadway where traffic is moving in both directions, in what position must you be before making a left turn? To the right of and as close to the center line of the roadway as possible. In any position as long as you signal. Close to the right hand side of the roadway. Close to the left hand side of the roadway. The correct answer to the right of and as close to the center line of the roadway as possible. To make a left turn, signal well before the turn and move into the leftmost lane that is going in your direction. On a two-way road, this is the lane that is just to the right of the yellow lane markings. You must report an accident to the police if damage to property other than vehicles is over $2,000. Damage to vehicles is over $2,000. Someone has been hurt or killed. Any of the above are true. Correct answer, any of the above are true. By law, you must report any collision to the police that involves injuries or damage to vehicles or property exceeding $2,000. When approaching a construction area, what should you do? Speed up to get out of the area quickly. Honk your horn a few times to warn the, war to warn the workers. Slow down and yield the right of way if necessary. Come to a complete stop until the workers signal you to proceed. The correct answer is slow down and yield the right of way if necessary. When approaching a construction area, slow down and yield the right of way if necessary. Obey all construction signs. What does this road sign mean? This lane is for buses only. This lane is for bicycles only. This lane is not for bicycles. This lane is for trucks only. Correct answer, this lane is for bicycles only. A diamond symbol indicates a reserved lane, a lane in which only certain kinds of vehicles may legally travel. This particular sign means that only bicycles may travel in this lane. What does a red signal light with a green arrow mean? You may turn in the direction of the arrow, stop and wait for the green light before turning in the direction of the arrow, stop and wait for a green light, the green arrow is a signal for pedestrians. Stop and then you may turn in the direction of the arrow. The correct answer, you may turn in the direction of the arrow. In Ontario, when must you turn on your headlights? Between half an hour before sunset and half an hour after sunrise and at any other time, you cannot see clearly for a distance of 150 meters. Between half an hour after sunset and half an hour before sunrise and at any other time, you cannot see clearly for a distance 
of 150 meters. Between dusk and dawn, and at any other time, you cannot see clearly for a distance of 150 meters. Between sunset and sunrise, and at any other time, you cannot see clearly for a distance of 150 meters. The correct answer between half an hour before sunset and half an hour after sunrise. And at any other time, you cannot see clearly for a distance of 150 meters. You must turn your headlights on when there is fog, snow, or rain keeps you from clearly seeing people or vehicles less than 150 meters away. When driving in heavy fog, you should use your parking lights and high beam headlights, high beam headlights, low beam headlights, parking lights. The correct answer, low beam headlights. If there is a fog warning, delay your trip until it clears if possible. If you must drive in fog, use your low beam headlights. High beam reflect off the moisture droplets in the fog, making it harder to see. You may also use fog lights if your vehicle is equipped with them. Your parking lights are for parking, not driving. The two second rule is used to determine how fast you can react to obstacles, how fast you are traveling, whether you are following at a safe distance, how much gas you will save. The correct answer, whether you are following at a safe distance. A safe following distance is at least two seconds behind the vehicle you are following. This lets you see around the vehicle ahead and, and gives you enough space to stop suddenly if necessary. Estimate the time, wait until the rear end of the vehicle in front of you passes any fixed point on the roadway, such as road sign, mailbox, or line, crack, or patch in the road. As you count to yourself the elapsed time in seconds, the front of your car should pass the same point no less than two seconds later. If the elapsed time is less than this, increase the distance, then repeat the method again until the time is at least two seconds. What does this road sign mean? You may stop temporarily to load or unload merchandise, but not passengers. You may not stop for any reason. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers, but not merchandise. You may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers or merchandise. The correct answer, you may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers, but not merchandise. According to the Ontario Highway Traffic Act, no parking means you may stop only temporarily to load or unload passengers or merchandise. No standing means you may stop only temporarily to load or unload passengers, but not merchandise. No standing signs are often posted at bus stops and taxi stands. No stopping means you may not stop for any reason, not even temporarily, unless you are directed to do so by a traffic sign or signal or a police officer. What does this sign mean? Watch for pedestrians and be prepared to share the road with them. There is a road work ahead. A traffic control person is ahead. Drive slowly and watch for instructions. A survey crew is working on the road ahead. Correct answer, survey crew is working on the road ahead. This sign is seen at construction zones where survey crews may be working. Proceed with caution. What does this road sign mean? Divided roadway ahead. Low clearance underpass ahead, pavement ends, falling rocks. The correct answer, pavement ends. This warning sign indicates the end of the paved surface. If two vehicles approach an uncontrolled intersection from opposite directions at the same time, one going straight while the other is turning left. 
Which vehicle has the right of way? The one turning left has the right of way. Both have the right of way. Both vehicles should stop first and then proceed. The one going straight has the right of way. The correct answer, the one going straight has the right of way. If two vehicles approach an uncontrolled intersection from opposite directions at the same time, one going straight while the other is turning left, the vehicle going straight has the right of way. When getting out of your car on a busy street, you should open your door after making the proper signals. When you are sure that it can be done safely, when you turn on your four-way flashers at any time. The correct answer, when you are sure that it can be done safely. When getting out of your car on a busy street, you should open your door only when it can be done safely. Before opening the door, watch for approaching vehicles, including motorcycles and bicycles. What does this road sign mean? Acceleration lane ahead, narrow passage ahead, left lane ends ahead, right lane ends ahead. Correct answer, right lane ends ahead. This type of warning sign gives advance notice of a reduction in the number of lanes ahead. This particular sign indicates that the right lane ends ahead. All traffic in the right lane must merge left. A person whose driver's license is under suspension may not drive under any circumstances. Drive in an emergency. Drive when accompanied by a licensed driver. Drive to and from work. The correct answer, not drive under any circumstances. If your license is suspended, you may not drive under any circumstances. If you are convicted of a driving while your license is suspended for an HTA offense, Highway Traffic Act, you will face fines in the thousands of dollars. The court may also order you to spend up to six months in jail. Six months will be added to your current suspension as well. What does this road sign mean? No smoking for more than three minutes. No idling for more than three minutes. Idling permitted for at least three minutes. No stopping for more than three minutes. The correct answer, no idling for more than three minutes. This type of sign is a no idling sign. This particular sign means that you may not idle your engine here for more than three minutes. Which of the following classes of vehicles may carry a red light visible from the front? Trucks, bicycles, emergency vehicles, recreational vehicles. Correct answer, emergency vehicles. Only emergency vehicles responding to a call may carry a red light visible from the front. When descending a long, steep hill, how should you control your speed? Shift into neutral, shift into a lower gear, keep applying the brakes, turn off the ignition. Correct answer, shift into a lower gear. If you keep applying the brakes to control your speed, on a steep descent, the brakes may fade, become less effective. Instead, just before starting the descent, release the gas pedal and downshift into a lower gear, even with an automatic transmission. This will generate a braking effect to slow the vehicle known as engine braking. The lower the gear, the greater the engine braking effect. Apply the brakes only when engine braking is insufficient or you want to stop. It may not be possible to downshift after you start going downhill. If you become very tired while driving, you should stop and rest, drive faster to your destination, open your windows to allow fresh air in the car, drink coffee. Correct answer is stop and rest. If you become very tired while driving, you should always stop and rest. What does this road sign mean? School zone ahead, underpass ahead, 
Bumpy road ahead. Possible falling rocks ahead. The correct answer, underpass ahead. This sign indicates an underpass ahead with only 3.9 meters of vertical clearance. In Ontario, trucks can legally be up to 4.15 meters tall. What does this road sign mean? There is a slight bend or curve in the road ahead. Keep right if there is a faster traffic. There is a sharp bend or curve in the road ahead. This lane exits to the right. The correct answer, there is a slight bend or curve in the road ahead. While driving a level two class G2, driver must not have a blood alcohol concentration greater than 0.05%, 0, 0.08%, 0, 0.02%. 0, 0 the correct answer, zero. Level one and level two drivers must have a BAC of zero when driving. New drivers caught drinking and driving will receive a 30-day suspension and can also be charged under the criminal code. What does this road sign mean? Deer regularly cross here. Do not honk at animals. There is a zoo ahead. Deer are welcome. The correct answer, deer regularly cross here. This is a deer crossing road sign. Watch for deer and be prepared to stop for them. When may you lend your driver's license to another person? In emergencies, when that person is learning to drive for identification purposes only? Never. The correct answer, never. No one else is allowed to use your driver's license. What does this road sign mean? They may be water flowing over the road. There is a movable bridge ahead. Do not enter. There is a construction zone ahead. The correct answer, there may be water flowing over the road. This symbol indicates a temporary condition, a prohibition, a warning, information, and direction. Correct answer, a prohibition. A red circle with a slash through it means the activity shown inside the ring is not allowed. If you approach several snow plows clearing a freeway, you should not. Wait for the plows to allow traffic to safely pass. Try to pass between them. Keep a safe distance. Do any of the above. The correct answer, try to pass between them. This question is about what you should not do. On freeways, several snow plows may be staggered across the road clearing all lanes at the same time by passing a ridge of snow from plow to plow. Do not try to pass between them. Doing so would be extremely dangerous because there is not enough room to pass safely. And the ridge of wet snow can throw your vehicles out of control. What does this road sign mean? There is a playground to the right. Danger, the road ends ahead. Take a detour. Danger, there is a sharp turn ahead. The correct answer, danger, there is a sharp turn ahead. This sign warns of a sudden turn in the road ahead in the direction shown by the arrow. Slow down and proceed with care. Examples of hands-free devices include a global positioning system, GPS, device that is properly secured to the dashboard or another accessible place in the vehicle, a portable audio player such as an mp3 player that has been plugged into the vehicle's sound system with a preset playlist, a cell phone with an earpiece or headset using voice dialing or plugged into the vehicle's sound system if so equipped, all of the above. The correct answer, all of the above. 
on a highway, when may you drive at the maximum speed limit? Only on one-way roadways, at any time, only when it's safe to do so, only in the daytime. The correct answer, only when it's safe to do so. Obey the maximum speed limit posted on signs along the road, but always drive at a speed that will let you stop safely. This means driving below the maximum speed limit in bad weather, in heavy traffic, or in construction zones. What does this sign mean? Yield to the left, road turns left, closed lane, slight bend or curve in the road ahead. Correct answer, closed lane. This sign means that there is a closed lane ahead. If you are in that lane, adjust your speed to merge with traffic in the lane indicated by the arrow. What does this sign mean? A road is branching off ahead. There is a passing lane ahead. There is a slight bend or curve in the road ahead. Keep right of the traffic island. Correct answer, there is a passing lane ahead. This regularly sign means you must stay in the right lane except when passing on the two lane sections where climbing or passing lanes are provided. If the signal light changes from green to yellow or amber as you approach an intersection, what should you do? Continue through the intersection without slowing or stopping. Speed up to get the to get past the yellow light before it turns red. Stop. If a stop cannot be made safely, proceed with caution. Sound your horn to warn pedestrians and other drivers that you do not intend to stop. Correct answer stop. If a stop cannot be made safely, proceed with caution. Never speed up in an attempt to get past the yellow light before it turns red. What does this road sign mean? No passing, no stopping, no parking, no trucks. Correct answer, no passing. A red slash inside a red circle means no. This regulatory sign means that cars and other vehicles should not pass. When you are in a roundabout, you can change lanes, drive in a counterclockwise direction, drive in a clockwise direction, you can stop. Correct answer, drive in a counterclockwise direction. When you are in a roundabout, keep right of the central island and drive in a counterclockwise direction until you reach your exit. Don't pass large vehicles or change lanes. Don't stop inside the roundabout except if necessary to avoid a collision. Upon approaching a yield sign, what must you do? Slow down as other vehicles give you the right of way. Stop, then enter traffic quickly. Slow down, stop if necessary, and yield the right of way. Stop then enter traffic slowly. The correct answer, slow down, stop if necessary, and yield the right of way. What does this sign mean? Divided highway begins, divided highway ends, two-way traffic, road under construction. Correct answer, divided highway begins. This warning sign indicates that the road ahead is divided by a median Keep right of it. You are approaching an intersection with a flashing red light. You must proceed with caution, change lanes, make a U-turn, come to a complete stop and proceed only when it's safe. The correct answer, come to a complete stop and proceed only when it's safe. And no parking sign means you may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers or merchandise. You may not stop for any reason. You may stop temporarily to load or unload merchandise, but not passengers. You may stop temporarily 
to load or unload passengers but not merchandise. The correct answer, you may stop temporarily to load or unload passengers or merchandise. What does this road sign mean? Slower traffic must turn right. Slower traffic must keep right. The right lane is for faster traffic. Slow down when you are in the right lane. Correct answer, slower traffic must keep right. This sign is usually posted on the multi-lane roadways. It means just what it says. Slower traffic should stay in the rightmost lane except when turning left or avoiding an obstruction or other hazard. What does this road sign mean? No parking at any time. You may not park in the designated area during the posted times. You may park in the designated area during the posted times. Only weekend parking is allowed. The correct answer, you may park in the designated area during the posted times. A green circle indicates permission. While driving, you receive a call on your handheld cell phone. There are no passengers who can take the call for you. What should you do? Answer the phone and promise to call the person back later. Text back the caller to let him know that you are driving. Pull over and park before using your cell phone. Answer the phone only if you've been expecting an important call. The correct answer, pull over and park before using your cell phone. In Ontario, it is illegal to use a handheld device while you are behind the wheel, even while you are stopped at a red light. If you are convicted of doing so, and it was your first such offense, you may face a fine of up to $1,000, three demerit points, and a three-day license suspension. You should use a hands-free device instead. If you must use a handheld device, pull over and park first, or ask a passenger to take the call for you. Using a cell phone while driving increases the risk of a collision, is acceptable, should be avoided, but it isn't illegal, is a good way to multitask. The correct answer increases the risk of a collision. Cell phones can be an important safety aid for drivers, but using a cell phone while driving takes the driver's attention away from the task of driving and increases the risk of a collision. In Ontario, it is illegal to use a handheld cell phone while you are driving. If you change your name or address, you must notify the Ministry of Transportation within 14 days, 30 days, 45 days, or 6 days. The correct answer, 6 days. If you change your name or address, you are required to notify the Ministry of Transportation within 6 days. You will also need a new license. What does this road sign mean? You must stop for a school bus if your turn signals are flashing. You must stop for a school bus if its red signals are flashing. You may pass a school bus if its red signals are flashing. You must stop for a school bus if the traffic lights are flashing. The correct answer, you must stop for a school bus if its red signals are flashing. What does this sign mean? You may stop and rest here. Drive to the right of the sign. Drive to the left of the sign. There is a playground ahead. Correct answer, drive to the right of the sign. This is a hazard warning sign. The downward lines indicate the side on which you, might, you may bypass the hazard in this case, to its right. What does this road sign mean? Going straight is not allowed. 
right turns are not allowed, left turns are not allowed, going straight is allowed. The correct answer, going straight is not allowed. A red slash inside a red circle means no. This regulatory sign indicates that going straight is prohibited here. What does this road sign mean? No bicycles allowed on this road, no parking, no stopping, bicycles allowed on this road. The correct answer, no bicycles allowed on this road. Overdriving your headlights at night is dangerous because you cannot stop within the distance that you can see ahead, it can drain the car battery, your headlights are too bright, you are driving too fast. Correct answer, you cannot stop within the distance that you can see ahead. Your headlights illuminate the road ahead for a certain distance. If you are, your stopping distance is greater than that, you may not be able to stop in time to avoid a hazard that your headlights just illuminated. For example, your low beam headlights have about a 45 meter range, but at 80 kilometers an hour, your stopping distance is 60 meters. Your headlights may pick up a hazard at 45 meters, but at that speed, you won't be able to stop in time to avoid it. While driving at night, if you meet in an oncoming vehicle with blinding bright lights, what should you do? Look at the headlights of the approaching vehicle, open and shut your eyes rapidly, look to the right edge of the roadway, turn on your high beam light headlights. The correct answer, look to the right edge of the roadway. To reduce glare, don't look directly at the headlights of oncoming traffic. Instead, look to the right edge of the roadway. To cut glare from the rear, adjust your rear view mirror or use a day-night mirror. Reduce your speed until your eyes have recovered from the glare. A broken yellow line on your side of the roadway means that you may not pass, pass only under ideal driving conditions, pass if the way is clear, pass only during daylight hours. Correct answer, pass if the way is clear. A broken yellow line on your side of the roadway means that you may pass if the way is clear. A solid yellow line on your side means that you are not allowed to pass. What does this road sign mean? There are no traffic signals on this road. There is a stop sign ahead. There is a traffic signal ahead. There is someone directing traffic ahead. The correct answer, there is a traffic signal ahead. What does this road sign mean? Maximum speed limit at night, maximum safe speed on the shoulder, maximum safe speed for a curve, recommended speed in a construction zone. Correct answer, maximum safe speed for a curve. Posted under a curve warning, this sign shows the maximum safe speed for the curve. If you are convicted of failing to stop when a police officer gave pursuit, you may face which of the following penalties? Up to six months in jail, a fine of up to $25,000, license suspension for five years, all of the above. The correct answer, all of the above. If you are convicted of failing to pull over when a police officer signaled you to do so, you will face a fine of $1,000 to $10,000, up to six months in jail, or both. However, if you fled the police officer and the police had to pursue you, you will face a fine of $5,000 to $25,000 between 14 days and six months in jail and a license suspension for five years.
A sign with a green circle indicates a track route, is a permissive sign, is a prohibitory sign, indicates a route for large trucks. The correct answer is a permissive sign. A regulatory sign with a green circle is a permissive sign. It means you may or must do the activity shown inside the circle. Before leaving your vehicle parked on the right side of the street facing a downgrade, you should set your parking brake only, turn your front wheels to the left and set your parking brake, turn your wheels to the right and set your parking brake, leave your front wheels parallel to the curb. The correct answer, turn your front wheels to the right and set your parking brake. When parking facing downhill, point your front wheels toward the curb. If the brake brakes fail, the curb will block the vehicle from rolling downhill. If there is no curb, point your front wheels toward the edge of the roadway. If the brakes fail, the vehicle will roll off the roadway, not into traffic. What does this road sign mean? This is a pedestrian crossover. This is a construction zone. Uneven pavement is ahead. This is a school zone. Correct answer, this is a pedestrian crossover. Be prepared to stop and yield the right of way to pedestrians. You may not pass within 30 meters of a pedestrian crossover. At an intersection, when the signal light is green, which of the following has the right of way over all others? Pedestrians crossing with the light, vehicles turning left, pedestrians crossing against the light, vehicles turning right. The correct answer, pedestrians crossing with the light. When the signal light is green, pedestrians crossing with the light always have the right of way over all others. If a level one, class G1, or level two, class G2, driver accumulates nine or more points within a two year period, his or her license will be suspended for 15 days, one year, 60 days, 30 days. The correct answer, 60 days. The driver must surrender the license to the Ministry of Transportation. A driver who fails to do so can lose his or her license for up to two years. What does this sign mean? There is a construction work one kilometer ahead. Keep a certain distance away. Follow these signs until you return to your regular route. This lane is closed ahead, merge into another lane. The correct answer, follow these signs until you return to your regular route. This is a temporary condition sign. These signs warn of unusual temporary conditions such as road work zones, diversions, detours, lane closures, or traffic control people on the road. This particular sign is a detour marker. Keep following these detour markers until they return you to your regular route. What does this road sign mean? Side road near a railway ahead, a railway crossing ahead, pedestrian crosswalk ahead, intersection ahead. The correct answer, railway crossing ahead. This warning sign indicates a railway crossing ahead. You must slow down and proceed only if it is safe. Upon approaching a stop sign, a driver must stop, sound the horn, then proceed, stop, and when it's safe to do so, proceed, slow down, and if the way is clear, proceed, slow down, sound the horn, and then proceed. Correct answer, stop, and when it's safe to do so, proceed. Upon approaching a stop sign, a driver must always come to a full stop yield to pedestrians and approaching traffic, then proceed when it is safe to do so. When approaching an intersection, you notice the roadway beyond the intersection is blocked with traffic. What should you do? 
Sound your horn to warn traffic ahead to move on. Keep as close as possible to the car ahead. Proceed slowly into the intersection until traffic ahead moves on. Stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on. The correct answer, stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on. If the roadway beyond the intersection is blocked with traffic, don't proceed into the intersection because you might block the intersection for other vehicles. Instead, stop before entering the intersection and wait until traffic ahead moves on. What does this road sign mean? One-way street ahead, narrow roadway ahead, hidden intersection ahead, divided highway ahead. The correct answer, narrow roadway ahead. This sign indicates that the roadway narrows without a reduction in the number of lanes. There will be less lane width available. Slow down, stay in your lane and watch for oncoming vehicles. You are driving on a wet road and have to stop quickly. If your vehicle does not have an anti-lock brakes, ABS, what should you do? Turn off the ignition and apply the handbrake. Brake hard, apply steady brake pressure, release slightly if the wheels are locking up and reapply, pump the brakes. The correct answer, apply steady brake pressure, release slightly if the wheels are locking up and reapply. When you're driving a vehicle that lacks ABS, threshold braking can bring you to a reasonably quick controlled stop in your own lane, even under slippery conditions. To perform threshold braking, brake as hard as you can until a wheel begins to lock up. Then release the brake pedal slightly to release the wheel Press down on the brake pedal, applying as much brake force as possible without inducing a skid. If you feel any of the wheels start to lock up, release the brake pressure slightly and reapply. Don't pump the brakes. Continue braking this way until you have slowed the vehicle to a desired speed. In a vehicle equipped with ABS, feel free to brake hard. The ABS computer will automatically reduce brake pressure when it senses that a wheel is about to lock up. What does this road sign mean? Paved surface ends ahead, divided roadway ahead, underpass ahead, narrow bridge ahead. Correct answer, narrow bridge ahead. This sign indicates that there is a narrow bridge ahead, the width of the road will be less than the part of the road you're currently driving on. Slow down at the narrow passage. What does this road sign mean? Stay to the right of the center island. Keep right. You must turn right. There is a sharp curve to the right. Correct answer, there is a sharp curve to the right. Chevron or arrowhead signs are posted in groups to guide drivers around sharp curves in the road. A G1 or G2 driver who is caught drinking and driving will face which of the following penalties? An immediate three-day license suspension, a fine of up to $500 if convicted, a 30-day license suspension if convicted, all of the above. Correct answer, all of the above. Drivers in either level one or level two of Ontario's graduated licensing system must have a blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of zero when driving. A new driver caught drinking and driving for the first time will receive an immediate three-day driver's license suspension. If the driver is convicted, he or she will face a $60 to $500 fine 
and an additional 30-day license suspension. If the new driver's BAC was greater than 0.08 at the time of the offense, the driver will also be subject to the same penalties for impaired driving as fully licensed drivers. Note, the MTO driver's handbook incorrectly states that the immediate suspension is just for 24 hours. If you want to pass a motorcycle, you should turn on your high beam headlights before you pass, pass it the same way that you would pass a car, use half of the motorcycle's lane to pass, honk your horn before you pass. The correct answer, pass it the same way that you would pass a car. Motorcyclists often need to pull to the left or right side of their lane to avoid dangerous road conditions. Do not take this as an, an inv invitation to pass in the same lane. If you want to pass a motorcycle, do so by changing lanes. If you are convicted of fleeing a police officer who signaled you to pull over, your license will be suspended for three years, five years, four years, two years. The correct answer, five years. If you are convicted of failing to pull over when a police officer signaled you to do so, you will face a fine of $1,000 to $10,000, up to six months in jail or both. However, if you fled the police officer and the police officer had to pursue you, you will face a fine of $5,000 to $25,000 between 14 days and six months in jail and license suspension for five years. Every vehicle must be insured for third-party liability for at least $1 million, $250,000, $400,000, $200,000. The correct answer, $200,000. All vehicles must be insured for third-party liability for at least $200,000. This covers you in the event that you injure or kill somebody or damage someone's property while driving. Collision insurance to cover damage to your own vehicle is a good idea, but it's not required by law. What does this road sign mean? Passing is not allowed. This is a wheelchair crossing. Watch for people with disabilities. A school crossing is ahead. Correct answer, a school crossing is ahead. This warning sign is a school crossing ahead road sign. Follow the directions of the crossing guard or a school safety patroller. What does this road sign mean? Winding road, hidden intersection ahead, road slippery when wet, narrow road ahead. Correct answer, winding road. This warning sign is a winding road ahead sign. A winding road is a road with at least three curves. Slow down and keep right. What does this road sign mean? All turns are allowed, you must turn right, you may not park between here and the corner, right turns are allowed. Correct answer, you must turn right. This is right turn only sign, you must turn right from this lane. It is more dangerous to drive at the maximum speed limit at night than in the daytime because the roads are slippery at night, you cannot see as far ahead at night, your reaction time is four times slower at night, some drivers unlawfully drive with parking lights only. The correct answer, you cannot see as far ahead at night. It is more dangerous to drive at a maximum speed limit at night than in the daytime because you cannot see as far ahead at night, even with headlights. 
Slow down when driving at night, especially on unlit roads. This driver is using a hand signal. The driver intends to slow down or stop, speed up, turn left, turn right. The correct answer, turn left. This driver intends to turn left. What does this sign mean? A hiking trail, school zone, pedestrians ahead, playground zone. The correct answer, pedestrians ahead. This sign means that there may be pedestrians ahead. Watch for pedestrians and be prepared to share the road with them. When driving on a two-way street, you hear the siren of an approaching emergency vehicle. What does the law require you to do? Signal the driver to pass, continue at the same speed, speed up and get out of the way, pull to the right as far as possible and stop. The correct answer, pull to the right as far as possible and stop. Remain stopped until the emergency vehicle has passed. Don't worry, other drivers will do the same. What does this road sign mean? Road ahead turns left, then right. Narrow road ahead. Intersection ahead. Road ahead turns right, then left. Correct answer, road ahead turns right, then left. This sign indicates a double curve ahead. The road ahead first turns right, then left. When the driver of another vehicle is about to pass your vehicle on your left, what should you do? Speed up so that passing is not necessary. Signal the other driver not to pass. Move to the right and allow the vehicle to pass. Move to the left and allow the vehicle to pass. The correct answer, move to the right and allow the vehicle to pass. What does this road sign mean? Maximum safe speed on the ramp, maximum speed limit on the highway, a speed limit change ahead, maximum safe speed for the curve. The correct answer, maximum speed limit on the highway. When a streetcar is stopped to pick up or discharge passengers where there is a safety island, what does the law require you to do? Pass with caution and be ready to stop if a pedestrian makes sudden or unexpected moves. Sound your horn and pass with caution. Stop at least two meters behind the rear doors of the streetcar stop at least two meters behind the safety island. The correct answer, pass with caution and be ready to stop if a pedestrian makes sudden or unexpected moves. Normally, when you encounter a streetcar ahead of you, stay at least two meters behind the rear doors where passengers are getting off or on. However, this rule does not apply at stops where an area has been set aside for streetcar passengers or there is a safety island. Pass these areas at a reasonable speed and be prepared for pedestrians who make sudden or unexpected moves. Which of the following statements about cyclists is false? Cyclists are prohibited from using the left-hand lane to turn left. You should leave at least one meter of space when passing a cyclist. Do not follow too closely behind cyclists. Before passing a cyclist, change lanes if possible. The correct answer, cyclists are prohibited from using the left-hand lane to turn left. When passing a cyclist, allow at least one meter of space between your vehicle and the cyclist. If the lane is too narrow to share, change lanes to pass the cyclist. Motorcycles, bicycles, and mopeds turn left at intersections in the same way as larger vehicles. If you are making a left turn behind one of these vehicles, do not pull up beside it to make your turn at the same time. Stay behind it 
and turn when the way is clear. If you are convicted of careless driving, you will receive six demerit points and you may face a jail sentence of up to six months, license suspension for up to two years, a fine of up to $2,000, all of the above. The correct answer, all of the above. Careless driving is a serious offense. Police can charge drivers with careless driving if they have not been paying full attention to their driving. If you are convicted of careless driving, you will get six demerit points and may be fined up to $2,000 and sentenced to up to six months in jail. In some cases, your license may be suspended for up to two years. If a fully licensed driver accumulates 15 or more demerit points on his or her record, the driver's license will be suspended for 60 days, 90 days, 30 days, 14 days. The correct answer, 30 days. If the driver fails to surrender his or her license, he or she may lose the license for up to two years. What does this road sign mean? Road under construction, divided highway ends, narrow bridge ahead, divided highway ahead. The correct answer, divided highway ends. Keep right and watch for oncoming vehicles. You are approaching a railway crossing. The crossing signals are warning that a train is approaching. What should you do? Increase your speed and cross the tracks as quickly as possible. Stop at least two meters from the nearest rail. Slow down and proceed with caution. Stop at least five meters from the nearest rail. The correct answer is stop at least five meters from the nearest rail. When approaching a railway crossing at which the crossing signals are warning of an approaching train, you must stop at least five meters or 15 feet from the nearest rail. Before proceeding across the tracks, wait until the signal lights stop flashing and the crossing gates, if any, have risen. Never try to race a train to a railway crossing. A train cannot yield the right of way to you. This driver is using a hand signal. The driver intends to turn right, slow down or stop, speed up, turn left. The correct answer, slow down or stop. This hand signal indicates that the driver intends to slow down or stop. This hand signal is the equivalent of the brake lights on the driver's vehicle. If you miss your exit on an expressway, what should you do? Make a U-turn, stop on the shoulder and check your map, back up if there are no other vehicles around, take the nearest exit. The correct answer, take the nearest exit. If you miss your exit on an expressway, do not stop, back up or attempt to make a U-turn. If you do, you will increase your risk of being hit by another vehicle. Instead, get off the highway at the next exit and find a way to get back. What does this road sign mean? You must turn left, you must not turn left, you must turn right, you must not turn right. The correct answer, you must not turn left. A red slash inside a red circle means no. This regulatory sign indicates that left turns are prohibited here. Hydroplaning occurs during heavy rain when a vehicle's tires are right up above the water on the roadway. To help prevent hydroplaning, you should ensure that the tires of your vehicle are inflated to the proper tire pressures, ensure that the tires on your vehicle have good thread depth, slow down when driving in the rain, do all of the above. The correct answer, do all of the above. At higher speeds on a wet road, your tires may lose the grip of the road and ride like skis on the film of water. 
This is called hydroplaning. It is more likely to happen if your tires are worn or underinflated. Which of the following are signs of aggressive driving? Avoiding eye contact, frequent shoulder checks, preventing other drivers from passing, all of the above. The correct answer, preventing other drivers from passing. Aggressive driving is a deliberate driving in a way that increases the chance of an accident. A driver may drive aggressively if he or she is impatient, frustrated, or hostile. There are many manifestations of aggressive driving, including tailgating, yelling obscenities, or making obscene gestures at another driver, deliberately blocking another driver from passing or changing lanes, and even running another driver completely off the road. If you notice another driver acting aggressively, move over and let the let that driver pass you. When passing a cyclist, you must leave at least blank of space between your vehicle and the cyclist. 1 meter, 2 meters, 1.5 meters, 0.5 meter. The correct answer is 1 meter. What does this road sign mean? Intersection with unpaved road ahead, railway crossing ahead, bridge crossing ahead, None of the above. Correct answer, railway crossing ahead. This is a sign indicating that a railway crossing is ahead. Slow down, watch for trains, and be prepared to stop if a train is approaching. What does this road sign mean? This is a route to an airport. This is a landing area for helicopters. Airplanes fly low overhead, airplanes land on this road. The correct answer, this is the route to an airport. Information signs are square signs with white symbols. This information sign indicates that an airport is ahead. What does this road sign mean? There is a snowmobile repair shop ahead. There is a snowmobile parking ahead. Snowmobiles cross this road ahead. Snowmobiles are not allowed ahead. The correct answer is snowmobiles cross this road ahead. What does this sign mean? Indicates an upcoming railway crossing. Shows directions to nearby towns or cities. Shows distances to towns or cities shows the exits on the upcoming roundabout and where they will take you. The correct answer shows the exits on the upcoming roundabout and where they will take you. After you pass this sign and approach the roundabout, you should also encounter a roundabout warning sign. What do broken white lines indicate? They indicate that passing is prohibited they separate lanes of traffic traveling in opposite directions. They mark the right edge of the roadway. They separate lanes of traffic traveling in the same direction. The correct answer, they separate lanes of traffic traveling in the same direction. You may cross a broken white line to pass or change lanes. To get your vehicle out of a skid, you should Steer in the direction you want to go, steer straight ahead, apply the brakes hard, steer in the opposite direction of the skid. The correct answer is steer in the direction you want to go. Straighten out your steering wheel slowly. Don't turn your steering wheel in different directions while trying to correct the skid. Work on one direction at a time. If you've oversteered, and the vehicle slides in the opposite direction, repeat the same procedure as before. Always steer in the direction you want to go. What does this road sign mean? Intersection ahead, railway crossing ahead, hidden intersection ahead, narrow roadway ahead. The correct answer, intersection ahead. This sign warns 
that there is an intersection ahead. The arrow indicates which road has the right of way. After a nine demerit point interview of a fully licensed driver, the Ministry of Transportation may suspend the driver's license for which of the following reasons. The driver failed to explain satisfactorily why his or her license should not be suspended. The driver has less than five years driving experience. The driver does not need the license for business purposes. All of the above are valid reasons for suspension. The correct answer, the driver failed to explain satisfactorily why his or her license should not be suspended. As a fully licensed driver, you may have to go to an interview to discuss your driving record and explain why your license should not be suspended. You may also have to complete a driver re-examination. If you fail this test, your license can be cancelled. If you fail to attend the interview or fail to give convincing reasons for keeping your license, it may be suspended. This driver is using a hand signal. The driver intends to turn right, turn left, speed up, slow down or stop. The correct answer, turn right. Hand signals can be used instead of your car's regular light turn or brake signals. This driver intends to turn right. What does this road sign mean? No pedestrians allowed, no children allowed, no bicycles allowed, only dogs allowed. The correct answer, no pedestrians allowed. A red slash inside a red circle means no. This sign means that pedestrians are not allowed to use this section of the road. If a fully licensed driver is convicted of using a handheld electronic device while driving, they will face which of the following penalties for a first offense? A 30-day license suspension, a fine of up to $1,000 and 3 demerit points, a fine of up to $500 and 2 demerit points, none of the above. The correct answer, a fine of up to $1,000 and 3 demerit points. A fully licensed driver who is convicted of a first offense of using a handheld electronic device while driving may face a fine of up to $1,000, 3 demerit points and a 3-day license suspension. You are approaching an intersection where there is no signal light or police officer. A pedestrian is in the crosswalk on your side of the street. You should increase your speed and pass the pedestrian, yield to the pedestrian, slow down and drive with increased caution, sound your horn to warn the pedestrian. The correct answer, yield to the pedestrian. Pedestrians in crosswalks have the right of way. Drivers, including cyclists, must stop and allow pedestrians to cross before they proceed. What does this sign mean? Only certain types of vehicles are allowed in this lane during the times and days posted. Buses are not allowed in this lane during the times and days posted. No stopping is allowed during the times and days posted. Do not enter during the times and days posted. The correct answer, only certain types of vehicles are allowed in this lane during the times and days posted. This is a high occupancy vehicle sign, HOV sign. During certain times, an HOV lane is open only to such high occupancy vehicles as buses, taxis, and passenger vehicles with a specified minimum number of occupants. This HOV sign indicates that only passenger vehicles with at least three occupants, for example, at least two passengers, may use this lane. If you are approaching an intersection at which the traffic lights are not working, you should yield to the traffic to your right Treat it as if there were always stop signs. 
slow down and proceed with caution. Stop until no other vehicles are approaching and then go. The correct answer, treat it as if there were always stop signs. If the traffic lights at an intersection aren't working, treat the intersection as if it is had always stop signs. That is, come to a complete stop, yield according to the rules for always stop signs, and then proceed with extreme caution into the intersection. If you are involved in an accident in which someone is injured, you must report the accident to the Ministry of Transportation within 48 hours, report the accident to the Ministry of Transportation immediately, report the accident to the police immediately, report the accident to the police within 48 hours. The correct answer, report the accident to the police immediately. If you are involved in an accident in which someone is injured or there is more than $2,000 worth of property damage, you must report the accident to the police immediately. Snow removal vehicles on public roadways are equipped with flashing blank lights, blue, red, orange, yellow. The correct answer is blue. Snow removal vehicles on public roadways are equipped with flashing blue lights that can be seen from a distance of 150 meters. What does this sign mean? When a school bus stops with its red lights flashing and its stop sign arm swung out, you must stop at any point before reaching the bus. When a school bus stops with its red lights flashing and its stop, ar stop sign arm swung out, you may proceed if you are on the opposite side of the road. When a school bus stops with its red lights flashing and its stop sign arm swung out, you must slow down to 25 kilometers an hour and proceed with caution. When a school bus stops with its red lights flashing and its stop sign arm swung out, you must stop at least 20 meters from the bus. The correct answer when a school bus stops with its red lights flashing and its stop sign arm swung out, you must stop at least 20 meters from the bus. Remain stopped until the stop sign arm is retracted and the red lights stop flashing. The only exception is if, this, if the bus is stopped on the opposite side of divided highway. In that case, you don't have to stop for it. A streetcar has stopped to take on or discharge passengers while there is no safety zone. What does the law require you to do before passing the streetcar? Pass on the left side when the way is clear. Stop two meters behind the rear doors where passengers are getting on or off and proceed only when it's safe to do so. Sound your horn and pass with caution. Stop behind the rear of the streetcar and then proceed when it's safe to do so. The correct answer is stop two meters behind the rear doors where passengers are getting on or off and proceed only when it's safe to do so. Unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limit in the cities, towns and villages is 40 kilometers an hour, 60 kilometers an hour, 30 kilometers an hour, 50 kilometers an hour. The correct answer, 50 kilometers an hour. Where there are no posted speed limits, the maximum speed is 50 kilometers an hour in cities, towns, and villages, and 80 kilometers elsewhere. What does this road sign mean? This lane is for bicycles only. This road is an official bicycle route. No pedestrians are allowed on this road. There is a bicycle crossing ahead. This road is an official bicycle route. 
watch for cyclists and be prepared to share the road with them. What does this sign mean? This is a pedestrian crossover. Be prepared to stop and yield the right of way to pedestrians. There is a railway crossing ahead. Be alert for trains. There is a hazard close to the edge of the road. The downward lines show the side on which you may safely pass. Vehicles cannot change lanes into or out of a high occupancy vehicle lane, HOV lane, in this area. The correct answer, vehicles cannot change lanes into or out of a high occupancy vehicle lane, HOV lane, in this area. What does this road sign mean? There is merging traffic ahead. No left turns are allowed. No U-turns are allowed. There is a hidden intersection ahead. The correct answer, there is emerging traffic ahead. This is a merging traffic sign. Two roadways going in the same direction are about to join into one. Drivers on both roads are equally responsible for ensuring that traffic merges smoothly and safely. If you fail to stop for a stopped school bus whose red lights are flashing, you will face which of the following penalties for a first offense? A fine of up to $500 and four demerit points, a requirement to retake your road tests, a one year jail sentence, a fine of up to $2,000 and six demerit points. The correct answer, a fine of up to $2,000 and six demerit points. If you fail to stop for a stopped school bus whose red lights are flashing, you will be fined $400 to $2,000 and receive six demerit points if this was your first offense. For each subsequent offense, you will be fined $1,000 to $4,000, receive six demerit points and possibly be sentenced to jail for up to six months. What does this sign mean? You may exit if you remain in the right hand lane. You must not drive in the right hand lane under any circumstances. You must exit if you remain in the right hand lane. This is the end of the highway. You must move into the right hand lane. The correct answer, you must exit if you remain in the right hand lane. If you don't want to exit this roadway, move out of the right hand lane. In Ontario, when driving at night, you must dim your headlights whenever you are within 60 meters of oncoming vehicle or within 150 meters of a vehicle you are following whenever you are within 400 meters of another vehicle whenever you are within 150 meters of another vehicle whenever you are within 150 meters of an oncoming vehicle or within 60 meters of a vehicle you are following the correct answer, whenever you are within 150 meters of an oncoming vehicle or within 60 meters of a vehicle you are following. In Ontario, you must dim your headlights to low beam whenever you are within 150 meters of an oncoming vehicle or within 60 meters of a vehicle you are following. These rules apply to all roads, including divided ones. Avoid shining your high beams on any other occupied vehicle. Bright lights can reflect off the other vehicle's mirrors and blind the driver. What does this road sign mean? Be cautious of pedestrians. Do not block the intersection. Watch for traffic signals. Do not slow down. The correct answer, do not block the intersection. The do not block intersection sign warns you 
not to enter the intersection if traffic is blocked beyond it because you might end up blocking the intersection for the cross traffic. This warning sign is rectangular rather than diamond shaped because of its relatively long text. A novice driver who is convicted of distracted driving will face which of the following penalties for a third offense? A fine, license suspension, and six demerit points. A fine, license cancellation, and removal from the graduated licensing system. A fine, license suspension, and three demerit points. License cancellation and removal from the graduated licensing system, but no fine. The correct answer, a fine, license cancellation, and removal from the graduated licensing system. A novice driver who is convicted of distracted driving will not receive any demerit points. Instead, he or she will face the following penalties. First offense, a fine of up to $1,000 and 30-day license suspension. Second offense, a fine of up to $2,000 and 90-day license suspension. Third offense, a fine of up to $3,000, license cancellation and removal from the graduated licensing system. Removal from the GLS means that the novice driver will have to begin the GLS over again to obtain a new license. What does this road sign mean? This is a high crime area. Do not enter this area. Be more aware of pedestrians and your speed in this area. It is safe to enter this area. The correct answer, be more aware of pedestrians and your speed in this area. This sign indicates a community safety zone. This is an area where, according to the community, speeding or aggressive driving poses a special risk to pedestrians. Traffic offenses committed within this zone are subject to increased fines. Obey all speed limits and drive carefully. When a right turn on the red signal light is permitted, what must you do before entering the intersection and making the turn? Signal and stop. Slow down and proceed with caution. Stop, then edge into the traffic. Signal and slow down. The correct answer, signal and stop. Before you turn, you must signal your intention well in advance. And at a red light, you must come to a complete stop. Then make the turn so as not to interfere with the other traffic, including pedestrians. What does this road sign mean? Fire truck entrance ahead on the right truck entrance ahead on the right, bus entrance ahead on the right, none of the above. The correct answer, fire truck entrance ahead on the right. This sign indicates an, an upcoming fire truck entrance on the right, prepare to yield to fire trucks entering the roadway. A G2 driver age 19 or younger who has six months or less of driving experience may carry blank unrelated passengers aged 19 or younger between midnight and 5 a.m. One, two, four, or three. The correct answer, one. A G2 driver aged 19 or younger who has only six months or less of driving experience may carry only one unrelated passenger aged 19 or younger between midnight and 5 a.m. If the G2 driver has more than six months of driving experience, he or she may carry up to three unrelated passengers. These restrictions do not apply if the G2 driver is accompanied by a fully licensed driver sitting in the front seat. There is no restriction on the number of 
family members that the G2 driver may carry. What does this sign mean? A slow moving vehicle, a vehicle carrying dangerous goods, an emergency vehicle, a fast moving vehicle. The correct answer, slow moving vehicle. This emblem on the rear of the vehicle identifies it as a slow moving vehicle. One whose speed is 40 kilometers an hour or less. Slow moving vehicles include farm equipment and some construction equipment. If you see this emblem on a vehicle you are following, slow down and be patient. What does this sign mean? The highway ends ahead, you must move into the right hand lane. You may exit if you remain in the right hand lane. You may not drive in the right hand lane. This is a two way left turn lane. Correct answer this is a two way left turn lane. This is a lane in the center of the roadway that can be used by vehicles traveling in either direction to make left turns. What does this road sign mean? Safety check ahead, no pavement 500 feet ahead, steep hill ahead, bumpy road ahead. The correct answer is steep hill ahead. This is a steep hill ahead road sign. This sign says that you are about to enter a steep 12 degrees descent. Check your brakes to reduce wear on your brakes shift into lower gear even if your vehicle has an automatic transmission. You should maintain a following distance of at least blank behind the vehicle in front of you. 5 seconds, 6 seconds, 2 seconds, 7 seconds. The correct answer, 2 seconds. Under ideal driving conditions, a safe following distance is at least 2 seconds behind the vehicle in front of you. This lets you see around the vehicle ahead and gives you enough distance to stop suddenly. Increase your following distance in bad weather when following motorcycles or large trucks or when carrying a heavy load. What does this road sign mean? There is a snowmobile repair shop ahead. Only snowmobiles may park here. Snowmobiles may use this road. Snowmobiles may not use this road. The correct answer, snowmobiles may use this road. A green circle indicates permission. This regulatory sign means that snowmobiles may use this road. What documents may a police officer require a motor vehicle owner to produce? The motor vehicle ownership document. If he or she is operating a motor vehicle, a valid driver's license. If the motor vehicle is insured, a liability insurance card. All of the above. The correct answer, all of the above. A police officer may require a motor vehicle owner to produce a, a liability insurance card, vehicle ownership documents, and a valid driver's license. What does this road sign mean? Speed limit changes to 50 kilometers an hour ahead and of 50 kilometers an hour zone. Speed limit for rural school zones. Maximum speed, speed of 50 kilometers an hour from this sign to the next one. The correct answer, speed limit changes to 50 kilometers an hour ahead. This regulatory sign indicates that there is a speed limit change ahead. You must be prepared to slow down to the posted speed when you see another speed limit sign without an arrow. When passing a cyclist, failing to leave at least one meter of space between your vehicle and the cyclist may result in a fine and blank demerit points on your driver's record. 0, 2, 1, 3. The correct answer, 2. While you are passing a cyclist, if you fail to leave at least one meter of space between your vehicle and the cyclist, you may face a fine of $60 to $500 
and two demerit points may be added to your driver's record. What does this road sign mean? Factory ahead, bumpy or uneven pavement ahead, construction zone ahead, bridge or viaduct ahead. The correct answer, bumpy or uneven pavement ahead. What does this road sign mean? Do not enter, keep left, keep right, do not pass. The correct answer, do not enter. This is a do not enter sign. It indicates that you cannot enter the roadway at which the sign is posted. You will see such signs at roadway openings you are not to enter or where you would be driving the wrong way on one-way roadway. You will see them at exit ramps, in crossovers on divided roadways, and at numerous locations on one-way roads. What does this road sign mean? Two lanes will merge into one. Two or more occupants must be in the vehicle to use this lane. Two lanes are closed ahead. This is a highway with two express lanes. The correct answer, two or more occupants must be in the vehicle to use this lane. This type of sign indicates that the lane is a high occupancy vehicle, HOV lane. This particular sign indicates that only buses and vehicles with two or more occupants, for example, one and more, one or more passengers may use this lane. However, there are a couple of exceptions. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and full battery electric vehicles with the green license plate may use this lane regardless of the number of occupants. Motorcyclists may also use this lane even if they are not carrying passengers. At an intersection where there is a flashing amber, yellow traffic light, you must continue at the same speed Stop if you're making a left turn. Stop if you're making a right turn. Slow down and proceed with caution. The correct answer, slow down and proceed with caution. In Ontario, when driving at night, you must dim your headlights, use low beam. Whenever you are following another vehicle within 500 meters, 60 meters, 120 meters, 150 meters. The correct answer, 60 meters. In Ontario, you must dim your headlights to low beam whenever you are within 150 meters of an oncoming vehicle or within 60 meters of a vehicle you are following. These rules apply to all roads, including divided ones. On rural roads, switch to low beams when you come to a curve or hilltop so that you can see oncoming headlights and won't blind oncoming drivers. If you can't see any headlights, switch back to high beams. Under what circumstances may a driver's license be cancelled? For a failure to satisfactorily complete a driver's re-examination, for failure to attend a driver re-examination, for possession of an altered driver's license, any of the above circumstances. The correct answer, any of the above circumstances. What does this road sign mean? The road is slippery when wet. Drive with caution. Share the road with oncoming traffic. No standing allowed here. The correct answer, share the road with oncoming traffic. This sign indicates you are entering a two-way undivided road. Keep right and watch for oncoming traffic. Passing another vehicle on the right side is permitted when the street or highway has two or more lanes of traffic in the direction in which you are traveling. Is permitted on any street or highway. Is permitted provided it is possible to do so by driving on the shoulder of the road is not permitted.
The correct answer is permitted when the street or highway has two or more lanes of traffic in the direction in which you are traveling. Most passing is done on the left. Passing on the right is permitted when the street or highway has two or more lanes of traffic in the direction in which you are traveling. This can be the case on the multi-lane highway or on one-way street. However, this maneuver can be more dangerous than passing on the left. When approaching emergent traffic sign, you should honk your horn, stop your vehicle before proceeding, adjust your speed and position, let the cars behind you go first. The correct answer, adjust your speed and position. When approaching emergent traffic sign, adjust your speed and position to avoid a collision with other vehicles. Time your merge to blend in smoothly with the other vehicles. Why is it necessary to look over your shoulder when changing lanes? It will help you see who is driving. Your mirrors always have blind spots. It is good exercise for your neck. All of the above are valid reasons. The correct answer, your mirrors always have blind spots. There will always be blind spots, no matter how you adjust your mirrors. Therefore, when changing lanes, you must also look over your shoulder to check your blind spot in the direction of the lane change. What does this sign mean? Do not turn left except during the times shown. Do not turn left. Do not turn left during the times shown. Do not make a U-turn except during the times shown. The correct answer, do not turn left during the times shown. A red slash inside a red circle means no. This sign means that left turns are prohibited during the times shown on the sign. In this case, from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. and from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. You may not park within blank of a fire hydrant. 20 meters, 5 meters, 3 meters, 15 meters. The correct answer, 3 meters. Do not park within 3 meters of a fire hydrant. On or within 100 meters of a bridge or within 6 meters of a public entrance to a hotel, theater or public hall when it is open to the public. What does this road sign mean? Bridge crossing ahead, gravel road ahead, milled or grooved pavement ahead, none of the above. The correct answer, milled or grooved pavement ahead. This sign means that the pavement has been milled or grooved. Your vehicle's stopping ability may be affected, so obey the speed limit and drive with extra caution. Motorcyclists may experience reduced traction on these surfaces. What does this road sign mean? No parking, no left turns, bicycle crossing ahead, bicycles not allowed. The correct answer, bicycle crossing ahead. If someone is tailgating you, what should you do? Pull over to let the tailgaters pass, move into another lane when it's safe to do so, increase your following distance behind the vehicle in front of you, do any of the above. The correct answer, do any of the above. If you're being tailgated, let the tailgater pass you. First, increase your following distance behind the vehicle in front of you. This will reduce the chance that you will have to stop or slow down suddenly for the vehicle in front, which may might result in your getting rear-ended by the tailgater. On a multi-lane road, change lanes to let the tailgater pass. On the two-lane road, you may have to pull over to let the tailgater pass. Never speed up in an attempt to appease the tailgater. No speed is too fast for some tailgaters. What does this sign mean? Keep to the right of the traffic island, 
traffic must travel in one direction only. Vehicles in this lane must turn right. There is a sharp bend or turn in the road ahead. The correct answer, traffic must travel in one direction only. This is a one-way sign. On this street, traffic may travel only in the direction of the arrow. What does this road sign mean? Vehicles that stop at this red light will be photographed. There are police officers at this intersection. You must stop for a red light at this intersection. Vehicles that don't stop at this red light will be photographed. The correct answer, vehicles that don't stop at this red light will be photographed. This intersection is monitored with their red light camera. The camera photographs vehicles that run a red light here. Their owners may be sighted. While driving, a class G1 learner must be supervised by an accompanying driver. The blood alcohol level of the accompanying driver must be less than 0 0.05%, 0.02%, 0 0.08%, 0 0.07%. The correct answer, 0.05%. A supervising driver for a class G1 learner must be fully licensed with at least four years of driving experience and have a blood alcohol level of less than 0.05%. This road sign means that parking is permitted for electric vehicles, for all vehicles, only for vehicles with very young child passengers, only for vehicles displaying a valid accessible parking permit. The correct answer, only for vehicles displaying a valid accessible parking permit. This sign features the international symbol of access for persons with disabilities. This sign is posted where parking is permitted only for vehicles displaying a valid accessible parking permit. What does this road sign mean? There are no right turns allowed. There are no U-turns allowed. There are no left turns allowed. There is a concealed side road ahead. The correct answer, there is a concealed side road ahead. This warning sign indicates a hidden intersection ahead. There is a hidden side road ahead and drivers on the side road may not be able to see you approaching. Slow down and proceed with caution. What does this road sign mean? Hotel, heliport, hospital, hill. The correct answer, hospital. Information signs are square signs with white symbols. This information sign indicates a hospital nearby.